In the 80s, Mickey Rourke was a star on the rise. He was one of Hollywood's brightest prospects. Then, for 15 years, it all but stopped. But the performance of a lifetime turned it all around. A performance that would mirror his own resurgence in popularity. Now, Mickey Rourke is back on Hollywood's A-list. Rourke grew up in a rough area in Miami. At 12, he took up boxing and decided he wanted to turn pro. But after a couple of serious concussions, his doctor advised him to take a break from the ring, which saw him turn to acting. He made his film debut with a small part in Steven Spielberg's 1941, but it was as an arsonist in Body Heat that he caught audiences' attention. He continued to impress in Diner and Rumble Fish and was starting to be compared with the likes of James Dean and Robert De Niro. Following his intense and steamy performance opposite Kim Bassinger in Nine and a Half Weeks, he was elevated to sex symbol status. And while the focus for many is on the sex in the film, for Mickey, it was more about obsession. That makes the nine and a half week thing, the first one, uh, it's, it's not so much the sex, it's, it's, it's the, like I said, it's the obsession, and it's the, it's the mental torture. Angel Heart saw Rourke deliver another compelling performance, this time as a washed up private detective. But offset, his combative nature and short fuse were starting to affect his career. Directors didn't want to work with him, and studios felt he was too much of a risk. I thought, you know, my, my, my talent was enough. I didn't realise that I had to play the political game, and I didn't realise I had to make an attempt at making commercial movies. Broke, and with his acting career on the skids, he decided to return to the ring. After some success and a few injuries, Rourke retired on medical grounds in 1995. You've probably noticed Mickey's had a bit of plastic surgery. Well, it's mainly been to repair the damage that six years of boxing has done. With the gloves hanging up and the reconstructive surgery done, he decided to give acting another shot. This time with a new perspective on what hard work's all about. Well, there were many nights of, uh over in Europe in the mid Midwest where I fought when you know, I'd be sitting in the dressing room for these real fights that I was doing and the door would open up and I'd hear, you'd hear the roar of the crowd from the fight that was going on and your stomach turns over because you know it's like you're going on the next fight or two or three fights later and it's like there's nothing as scary as being in that dressing room. The wrestler was Mickey Rourke's big comeback. His intense and touching performance earned him his first Oscar nomination, as well as countless other awards, including a BAFTA and a Golden Globe. But even more touching than his performance was the graciousness that Mickey showed for the second chance he'd been given. I just kept trying to change and work hard and work hard and, and not, you know, slip back into my old ways. And uh, so I appreciate it a lot because uh, it's a profession where, you know, if you work hard enough and, and many years go by, you, you can get a second chance. Following his success in The Wrestler, Rourke's film career was well and truly back on track. He's gone on to put in solid performances in The Informers, Iron Man 2, and most recently in The Expendables. Mickey Rourke has had a remarkable career with soaring highs and crushing lows. But it's that never say die attitude that's seen him fight his way back to the top proving he is one of the best actors in Hollywood today. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better on screen and at mnc.tv.